So whether you're an athlete striving to improve endurance or a middle-aged man aiming for better health, Zone 2 Training offers a pathway to achieving your fitness goals safely and effectively. You're probably thinking, well, what is Zone 2? And we're gonna get into that along with some of the benefits that you can get from Zone 2 Training and how often you should train as well. So first and foremost, understanding sort of these heart rate zones. And heart rate zones are ranges that correspond to different intensities of exercise, usually calculated as a percentage of your maximum heart rate. Now you're probably thinking, well, what's my max heart rate? A quick and easy way to determine your max heart rate is crucial for effective zone two training. Now, a common method used to estimate uh, max heart rate is simply subtract your age from 220. So if you're 30 years old, your estimated heart rate, max heart rate would be 190 beats per minute. So 220 less 30. Once you understand your max heart rate, then zone two typically ranges between 60 to 70% of your max heart rate. So let's just say your max heart rate is 190, 60 to 70% of that, that is where you wanna land when it comes to zone two training. And the reason people love zone two training is it's optimal for enhancing aerobic capacity, endurance, building a strong fitness foundation, and tapping into fat stores for energy. When you're in zone two training, you stimulate type one muscle fibers during zone two training. Therefore, you stimulate mitochondrial growth and function which improves your ability to utilize fat. This is the key to performance for most endurance athletes. Elite endurance athletes probably train in this zone two training 60 to 75% of their entire training. So by improving your body's ability to utilize fat as a fuel, you preserve glycogen, which allows you to use that glycogen at the end of the race or workout when the intensity increases. So here are some benefits of zone two training. Number one, improved aerobic endurance. You can build a strong base essential for boosting stamina and performance in high intensity exercises. Number two, enhancing fat metabolism. Efficiently using fat as an energy source, aiding in weight management. Number three, reducing your risk of overtraining injuries. The low intensity nature of zone two training minimizes strain and decreases your risk for injury. Number four, it's a foundation to utilize higher intensity training. Prepares your body for more strenuous workouts by developing endurance and efficiency. Number five, improved cardiovascular health. It increases the heart's efficiency and oxygen utilization. Lastly, for recovery and active rest, it's perfect actually for rest days, promoting recovery without losing progression. So perhaps you have a day where you're not sure what to do, you might wanna take an off day, or you could do some zone two training just to build that base that much more secure, and then it allows you to do higher intensity workouts when you would like to. Just to recap, to stay in zone two, you need to monitor your heart rate and keep it between 60 and 70% of your max heart rate. To get your max heart rate, you do 220 less your age. Heart rate monitors or even fitness apps can be useful tools. If you don't want to use those, a talk test can be also quite effective. You should be able to speak in full sentences comfortably without gasping for air when you're in zone two training. How often should you train in zone two? Well, I think a lot of it depends on your goals and what you're looking to do. Sometimes you can use it as sort of a filler on off days, but if you're really an endurance athlete looking to train for a competition, the ideal training plan would be to use it three to four days a week in zone two for the first two to three months of like sort of your preseason training, followed by two to three days a week as the season gets closer and closer. And then you do about two days per week once the season is in full swing. For myself, I'm gonna start incorporating it probably about one day a week as a filler on my off days. Tips for maximizing zone two training. One, you wanna stay consistent. Two, I would definitely use some type of technology, heart rate monitor. And three, you wanna sort of listen to your body. Adjust the intensity based on how you feel. So zone two training complements other forms of exercises such as strength training and high intensity interval training. So let's say you're doing a two to three days of strength training, maybe one day of zone two and another day of some high intensity interval training. That would be one way to incorporate it into your routine. So you can use it as a recovery session or as a foundation workout before tackling more intense sessions. It can also be incorporated into your training plan for events like the marathon. We just recently had the Chicago marathon here or triathlons to improve endurance and recovery. I'm gonna go through a, just a few frequently asked questions. Number one, can I combine zone two training with weightlifting? Absolutely, zone two training is great for recovery days like I've mentioned between your strength training sessions. How long should you stay in zone two? I would say aim for at least 30 minutes to see benefits, increasing your duration as you progress. 
Well, is Zone 2 training boring? It probably can be boring, but you can definitely listen to music or a podcast or a video or maybe do it alongside a friend because you should be able to have a normal conversation during Zone 2 training. Zone 2 training is a very sustainable method to enhance your endurance, health, and overall fitness. By incorporating it in your weekly routine, as I've mentioned, you can achieve significant improvements in both aerobic capacity and weight management while minimizing the risk of injury. Start by experimenting with short sessions and gradually increase your duration as your fitness improves. So if you're ready to take the next step and start incorporating some Zone 2 training into your program, comment down below. Let me know how you're going to incorporate it into your program. If you want my step-by-step -step blueprint on how to get your body back to what it once was 10 to 15 years ago without rearranging your life, click the first link below. If you enjoyed this content, YouTube thinks you'll like this next video.